do you think you're a psychic or an empath? Do you think you have really good intuition? Well, um, no matter how good or how bad it is, uh, practicing makes it better. And the more you um, practice your intuition, the more you trust it and the more it can help you out in life. And uh, for the people who might have a little psychic ability out there, see if you can tune in as well. See if you can pick up any of the emotions I have with this. So as you know, it's still you're still able to pick it up through video. So let's go. We have three objects here. The first one is a little pink ceramic kind of pig. This one is just a container of sorts. And this too is just another container. Now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pause on each one. I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna think about things to do with it. And I'm gonna ask some questions after and I'm gonna try and go through and think about the questions I'm gonna ask as I go through this. See if you can pick up on it. So we'll start with this one. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna ask a few questions. Which object was made by an artisan by hand? This one, this one, or this one? Which object is from a different country? Which object did I buy? This one? This one? Or this one? Which object it makes gives me the feeling that of something I did and I'm proud? Which object, which of these three objects am I most attached to that I would be most upset if I lost forever? Only one of these was a gift. Which one was the gift? Which object, out of these three objects, only one never really served a purpose. I never really used purposely. Which one was it? This, this, or this? Which object has a story behind it? It's more than where I bought it or okay. And which object belonged to someone else? Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you the story behind each object and see if you picked up on any of this. This first one is Piggy. Uh, Piggy was part of a keychain made by a young girl. I work at a hotel. She lost something at a hotel that ended up at the laundry company. And I made sure that I got it back from the laundry company, took it home, 
and mailed it back to her. It was something extremely important to her. It was a stuffed pig. She mailed back a keychain with piggy on it. And I was so proud that she gave me this little keychain with piggy on it. I had it on my keychain, but unfortunately it broke. But I keep this in a little uh, change purse in my wallet. It makes me feel proud and happy of something I did. The little girl had slept with, she was about 14 or something. She had slept with her pet pig since the day she was born and didn't want to lose it. This, this belonged to my mother. Uh, the attachment I have to it is uh, mainly my attachment to her rather than, and this is an object she owned, rather than attachment uh, to the object. Uh, no idea of its origin. Uh, not even sure she used it for anything. She might have th thrown some doodads in it. But this did belong to my mother. Uh, it was not a gift. This one was the gift. Uh, this one here I picked up in Europe. I'm trying to think of where I picked it up. I believe it was Spain though and it was the artisan was there and handmade this and you know it wasn't until I um, picked this up that I realized how absolutely beautiful it was. This sits and it has like um, a couple of bells and drill bits <laughs> in it doodads when it sits. It just picked up a few things that I took out for the thing. But this has served a doodad purpose. This was on my keychain. This has never served a purpose. It's just knickknack um, on the uh, nightstand beside my bed. This one is almost always in my living room. Yeah, it's always been in my living room, sometimes my dining room. Uh, any other things? Let's see. So this one's from a different country. This one makes me most proud and happy. This one would be most atta attached to. This one was made by hand. Uh, this one was a gift. This served no year, uh, no purpose. This one has the story behind it. This one belonged to someone else. So we're going to do more of these. Uh, practice them. When a lot of times you will have an idea of something to do, pick up on something uh, before I even speak. You just get first impressions of those. Pay attention to those. Also pay attention to gnawing feelings. Feelings you just keep going back to that something keeps popping in your head. Um, if you spend too much time trying to figure out, then you're trying to use logic rather than intuition. So it's more of something you feel in here rather than you're figuring out there. Uh, Tell us how you did in the comments. How much of it did you get right? And we're going to do more of these using different things. And we'll see if we can improve all of these uh, things for you and get them working for you. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.